Hey everybody, what's up uh, Bob's Prop Shop fans? I'm Video Bob from the TV show Screen Machines. And you know, one of the cars that we love and that we've done many times is the Bluesmobile from the movie The Blues Brothers. This is a 1974 Dodge Monaco. And uh, this is our fifth Bluesmobile. You know, some of the other ones we've done, they've all gone out of the country. They've gone to Mexico, they've gone to Italy, they've gone to UK, and this one is going to Australia. So I'm sorry, this one's already sold, but I just wanted to show it off because it's just a really cool car. Now, the 74 Dodge Monaco was available in a couple of different models. Uh, the police cars were all four-door post sedans, post meaning that there was a frame around the window. But you could also get the car with a vent window or as a two-door hardtop. Um, but this one was a four-door hardtop. So the, uh, you'll notice that there's a little bit of difference here in the way the roof is made. When you roll both of these windows down, uh, you end up with one just big, long, open window. So to simulate having a post there, we put in this vinyl stripe. It's a pretty simple thing, but it just makes it look like there's a post because when you're standing back about this far, you can't even tell. You can't even tell the difference. All right, so this car was originally a brown car with a beige interior, which made it a lot easier for us to do the interior. And I'm gonna flip the car around and show you some of the details, or flip the camera around, I'd rather. Here you go. Okay, so, uh, We'll take a look at the car. First, let's just quickly look at the interior and get that over with. Uh, the interior originally had a tapestry paisley uh, interior, cloth interior, and it was just bad. So we recovered it. We had this done by our upholstery team. And the seats, they're, they're actually a little bit too nice, I gotta say, they're too nice. But this is the sort of movie correct interior uh, of the Monaco, it even has the little pocket door there. We've added in this uh, police, police light here unity light and we custom fabricated the push bumper now let's talk about the paint now this was a brown car we painted it black and white and then we've done a special process to the paint to make it dull and old so when we do these letters we actually lay down a, a white then we put vinyl letters on top then we paint over it so this white paint is actually underneath the black but then we put another layer of black on top of it and then scrub it off to make it look worn. But here's the great thing about our process is the way it's done is that these letters won't rub off more. What would actually happen is if this got rubbed off, it would actually become brighter. So you'd be able to touch it up. So you'll never have to worry about these letters disappearing completely. You may have to touch them up by making them look dirty again, but they'll never actually go away. This rust that you see on the car, this is fake rust. We hand painted this rust using a brush and special mixture of paint, and we hand painted all this rust. This car is actually a completely rust-free car. Almost always when you see these cars, the rear quarter panels are just completely gone. All that rust you're seeing is paint. That's just simulated rust. Simulated rust, mud, and dirt. This car is actually just clean you could eat off of it. But we've simulated the filth, and it's quite convincing especially from a few feet away when you take in the whole car and you see where the rust would have been. But that's part of the movie magic. That's kind of what we do. So this car does not have the 440 that came in the police cars. It has a 400, which is still a very cool motor. And uh, yeah, I can show it to you. Not a whole lot to look at, but um, I know the fans like to see these kinds of things. So we'll go ahead and open it. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. That's... All right, there it is. That's the original Chrysler 400. Now, this has been modified a bit. Normally, this would have came with a smaller two-barrel. This has a large uh, four-barrel. It looks like an Edelbrock. And um, actually, thing runs pretty good. It's also got an upgraded police 140 mile an hour speedometer. Look at that thing. Hers like a kitten. For a car that's currently 42 years old as of this recording, the car's in good shape, man. All right. Get that closed. Yep. Sorry, this little thing sticks. It's hard to do with one hand. I need to put a little WD-40 on that. Okay. So, let's take a look at the interior again. You actually have power seats in this model. You can see they move forward, back. That's some high-class sitting right there, Bubba. 
check this out. This is fun. I always love showing this. Let me go ahead and turn it off because I want you to be able to hear this. This is the original radio. Completely original radio. Let's see. It was working. Let's see. Huh, I guess. Maybe I have to. Oh, there we go. I didn't have the key on. There we go. So, yeah. There we go. Fader works. Tone. <laughs> That's great. All right. So, you know what? I didn't get that hood closed. Darn it. Gosh darn old car, man. You gotta really, there it goes, jeez. You gotta really put a muscle in it and slam that hood. Sheesh. All right, who wants to go for a ride in the Bluesmobile? I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> oh, this thing is beautiful. So, headliner in this thing's amazing condition. Um, actually, all the underfloor lighting actually works. The thing looks amazing. All right. You know, it's a little chilly. I haven't run this thing today. We need to warm it up. should have done is I should have brought my buddy to run the camera for me. Sorry, it's a little shaky, but... Look out, everybody! Here I come! Cops are after me! Run! <laughs> oh, shit! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brakes work. Oh, shit. This thing is so great. I love this car. One of my favorite cars, one of my favorite movies of all time. The Blues Brothers, man. Get yourself what, a cool little fedora and some Wayfarers. And you are on the way to happiness. about prop shop Woo! god damn I love this car so this is it 1974 Dodge Monaco this is the real shit man we are not messing around there it is thing of beauty this car will be headed to Australia momentarily and there it is never mind these other project cars this is uh police car from Robocop. Hey, over here, just to, as a comparison, this is one of my personal driver cars. This is also a 74 Dodge Monaco. This is the two-door hardtop. So this will give you an idea of one of the, how one of these cars could look in its normal everyday life. And there it is in the two-door version, which is still very cool, but very different setup. And just for fun, let me show you, show you what this thing looks like with the window rolled down. muffler bracket is uh, vibrating down there. Don't let that scare you. All right, so that's how it looks with the window rolled down. It's actually really cool. All right, we got to weld this muffler bracket under there. We got to fix that. That's what that ticking noise is. That's not the motor. That's coming from the back. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I probably rattled something loose. Hey, you got to test it out. You got to test it out, man. So uh, this is Bob's Prop Shop. You know, we do stuff like Knight Rider. And hey, since I'm recording, 
I mean, since I'm here, let me take you into the shop for the people who haven't seen some of our other stuff before. Just go to bobspropshop.com. And uh, this is like, like our warehouse, but check this out. Hold on. Turn this around. You know, in here we have like our Ghostbusters Ecto-1. We build those. We also do the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. I can hear Jack in the other room. He's spraying a car. He's doing the uh, Scooby-Doo van right now. In here, uh, we have uh, our plastics and casting department. We got Omar over here working on Knight Rider. This is gonna be a kit car. Check that thing out. It's, it's still in production right now. So this is the kind of stuff we're doing. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video of my 1974 Dodge Monaco Blues Mobile. If you want any movie car or any of the things like you've seen here, just hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and on the web at Bob's Prop Shop. That's what we do. So uh, when you're ready to get the real stuff and you want the real thing, you can only come here, Bubba. I'm Video Bob. Thanks for watching. Hey, look, I can see myself in my glasses. <laughs>